It all started with the yellowtail snapper drift jigs. Next came the fish head jig heads. To extend the range of the yellowtail drift jigs, I created the cobra jigs. The cobra jig head became the foundation for the bucktail jigs. To take advantage of the mullet run, we have the snagging jigs. And now, let me introduce you to the new, all about the bait, weighted circle hooks. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? So super happy to announce the release of the new All About the Bait Weighted Circle Hook Jigs. They're available now at www.allaboutthebait.com. So go check them out. Now I've been wanting this assortment of weighted circle hook jigs for quite a while now. Uh, basically since I released the first batch of the standard yellowtail jigs. But as you've seen in the earlier part of the video, I had quite a few other categories that I wanted to implement first before I got to these. Um, then I took a look at my emails and it was February 29th uh, when I first greenlighted this project and started throwing money at it. And last week is the first batch of sellable units that I received. So it basically took uh, nine months to, to get these guys in stock. So I was super pleased they're finally here. Now there's three basic reasons why I wanted these weighted circle hook jigs. Uh, first is, is that I wanted the equivalent yellowtail snapper jig hook, but just in a circle hook. And the reason for both of these jigs are to allow you to control the depth of the drop back of your bait. So for instance, you can take a chunk bait, put it on a bare hook, and in the current, it's gonna sit on top of the water column. You want it to drop down a little bit deeper, maybe to match the tongue. You can add a 1 32nd ounce jig head and it'll drop it down a bit. Wanna go a little bit deeper, you've got the 1 16th ounce. Wanna go even deeper, you've got the 1 8th ounce. You wanna get down to that bottom, I've got the uh, Cobra jig heads that go up to a three quarters of an ounce. But uh, having those variable heads in a circle hook was the key component. Now the circle hook is key for two main reasons. One is to prevent gut hooking fish and basically killing fish that you're not going to keep. Now the way that uh, circle hooks work is on a J hook, basically as soon as you set that hook, wherever that hook is, that hook point is going to embed itself. Now when you're using natural baits like live baits or cut baits, you tend to end up, the fish tend to end up swallowing those pretty quickly. You set the hook when that uh, bait is in its belly and it's either going to gut hook them or gill hook them and then there's a large chance that you're going to end up killing those fish even though you're releasing it. Now the way circle hooks work is because the hook point is bent inwards, uh, this will allow you to let the fish swallow that bait down into their gullet and give you time to let them to swim away. Then you set the, the close the bail. That starts pulling that line and the hook out of their stomach. Because the hook point is pointing down, it's not going to grab onto anything until it exits the mouth into the corner of the mouth and it will wedge itself in that cartilage in the corner or in the top center on the button if you're pulling straight back, okay? And that does a couple of things. One, it'll keep that uh, line out of the fish's mouth, which will prevent uh, getting cutoffs, as well as chafing, that'll weaken that line and eventually causing it to break. Uh, the second part is, is that once these circle hooks wedge into the corners, anytime that fish pulls on the line or you pull on the line, it wedges that uh, hook point deeper into that cartilage, creating a better hook set. So I tend to prefer circle hooks just because of that, the better hook sets, and I have less risk of losing those fish, especially when you're dealing with larger fish that uh, have those rough mouths um, or gill plates like the, uh, the tarpon, the snooks, okay, that have anything that has toothy critters as well, um, you tend to have a better chance at landing those fish. Now, speaking of the hook, there's a couple of specific reasons I went with this specific hook. Um, throughout my whole fishing career, on, in regards to circle hooks, there's only one brand and model that I use for everything, and that is the Mustad. It's the Demon Perfect Circle Inline Black Nickel. It's the model 3994 4 BN. 
Um, now you'll see in any of my videos from the beginning uh, when I mention what I'm using, it's this specific model and brand of hook there. Um, for the usage of it, um, I'll use a size 3 aught to 4 aught when I'm permit fishing with a live blue crab. Uh, it mates perfectly with those quarter to half dollar size blue crabs and in comparison to the mouth of a permit. Then I'll use a 5 aught when I'm using either cut baits or like live pilchards or pinfish when I'm going after like the snappers, either the um, mangrove snappers or those moderate sized fish. It's just for perfectly perfect for those. And then I'll also use them for the full size 100 plus pound tarpon when I'm matching that with a uh, live pilchard medium to large size 3 to 4 inch. Because even though I would prefer to have a larger size hook on that, when you use it with a smaller bait, it's just too odd size. It sticks out too much and the fish will tend to see that and shy away from it. So you still have to match that hook with the bait primarily so you get the bite and then still be in that comfort range of being big enough to work with those larger fish. And that 5 aught fits perfectly in there. Then I use the 7 aught for all of my big fish and big bait. So whether it be a, a silver dollar size of blue crab for big tarpon, a 12 inch mullet, a big chunk of bait for a shark, uh, the 7 aught fills the bill and that's kind of all I use for those big fish. I even use those for uh, big uh, chunk baits for on the bottom for groupers, muttons, big mangroves. Uh, it fits perfectly well with those bigger baits and those bigger mouths there. So. I just knew that lineup would be perfect and that's why I mated the, um, the lead portions and the design portions to that specific hook. Then size wise, I originally wanted to make it equivalent to the standard yellowtail jigs where I have it staggered. Um, the, the standard J hooks, I use a uh, number two for the 132nd ounce, a number one for the 1 16th ounce and a 1 aught for the 1 ounce weight on the standard yellowtail jigs. And I wanted to use that same step up version with the circle hooks. So the first versions I used a 2 aught for the 132nd, 3 aught for the uh, 1 16th, and a 4 aught for the 1 8th. But then when we finally built them and I modeled them and tested them, what I found out is the in circle hooks, you lose a lot of the gap space because of the circle hook, the way it's pointed in line, and the hooks were just too small. Uh, so I had to eliminate the two out and three out just because they were too small to just plain hook. And then the four out fit perfectly with the weights on there because it was large enough. So it had enough gap space, even with the lead uh, portion being there. Um, plus it was small enough for hiding the bait when you're going to be using small chunk baits or even like a small pilchard. Uh, it wouldn't be too obtrusive. But then I still wanted a bigger hook if I wanted to use a bigger bait or a bigger chunk and just have bigger fish that I'm targeting. And that's why you'll see I also have the 1 8 ounce in a 5 aught version as well. The second reason for this category of jig heads is the new Florida state law in regards to circle hooks. Uh, this new law goes in effect on January 1st, 2021, and it applies to the area on the Atlantic side. If you drew a line directly west of Melbourne, Florida, and then the waters in Atlantic to the direct north. Um, this applies to any time that you are using any type of natural bait, which is live bait, dead bait, slash cut baits, and you are fishing for reef fish. Now, if you go to the FWC website, you'll get the official laws there, but they also have the specific fish that fall under that reef fish category. Now, the specific law is that in state waters, you have to use a circle hook that is non-stainless steel, non-offset. And then in federal waters, you have to use a circle hook that is non-stainless steel. Now they have made exceptions because they realize that uh, one of the species like a yellowtail snapper is a commercial fish. And for the commercial fishermen to be efficient, they use these uh, quick dehooking devices. 
and in order for those to work, they have to use J-hooks. So they've exempted them for that. Now on the Gulf of Mexico side, that same law has already been enacted and it's been that way for a while that you have to use a circle hook when you're using natural baits. Now on back on the Atlantic side to the south of that borderline, you can use J-hooks, but they need to be non-stainless steel. So that would be the nether reasons why I got my own weighted circle hooks, non-offset, and they're basically the non-stainless steel. And the third reason for this category is there's just not a lot of options out there for weighted circle hooks. Um, because they're kind of a specialty jig, the major manufacturers aren't going to be willing to invest the money into an item that they can't sell throughout the United States or around the world. Uh, so what you see on the market now tends to be of a lot less lesser quality. They're more of these home modified units uh, using these kind of cheaper hooks. But the prices that they're paying charging for them are way higher than what I'm charging. Um, in regards to mine, uh, a big thing to me is the quality of the hooks that I use. Uh, you'll see a lot of them I'm using all mustads and then you'll see that I use the 2X strongs a lot. Uh, the reason for that is, is that when you hook up to that fish of your lifetime, I just want to guarantee that the weakest link is not going to be my jig head or my hooks when you're fighting that fish. Now the, uh, the route I take for building my jigs is so I come up with the idea so I know what I want. Uh, the idea goes to my CAD designer that basically computerizes it and puts it on computer form. I take a look at that, it looks good, but without physically having it in hand or actually using it, it really doesn't mean much. So then it goes to uh, my mold production facility that actually makes a mold. Then it goes to the actual production facility that is able to make me a few samples. I get those, I'm actually able to see them, take a look at them, test them out. Then if I have to make any changes, then it has to go through that whole process again. Once I green light it, I've got the everything okayed. Uh, it goes back to my main production facility. Now, you're not gonna see these being made in my back poet patio that you see on my lead porn videos where you're doing one, two, three. My last batch or my first batch is 50,000 pieces. So that's just not functional. Uh, the other reason is, is that these, uh, the equipment that I'm using there are specific, these uh, forced injection units, and they could do mass volume. But the other thing that they can do is control the lead temperature. So they can reduce the, the, the lead temperature to the lowest that it can be and still be able to inject it. Um, the reason why that's important is when you're pouring these, if you use really hot lead temps on these other metals in regards to the hook, it creates brittle spots because it heats them up and then it cools them off again and that creates the metal to be brittle and you get weak spots. And because I use those force injection machines with those lower temps, you don't get these on my jig head. So very important there. All right, so that's the All About the Bait weighted circle hook jigs. So check them out, www.allaboutthebait.com. Uh, I sell packs in each individual weight but I also saw a mix pack. So what you can do is get the mix pack, try out all the different ones, find the ones that you're just gonna use all the time, and then your next buy, just buy that specific weight and uh, hook size, and then save some money that way. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.